Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we have a brand new Monster High music video for Twyla. We have a lot of new information on Twyla, a little bit of backstory, more lore, and a new playset question mark. Stay tuned and let's get into it. So, yes, the official Monster High YouTube channel posted the uh this music video called Out of the Shadows featuring Twyla a couple hours ago now, and right off the bat, you can tell the the animation style is no longer it's like no longer animated period it is now stop motion with the actual doll we'll get into that specific choice of change later on and reasons perhaps as to why mattel decided to change or change up the specific music video let's first get into the description of the music video that does lift a little bit more uh information on twyla and her backstory in this generation it reads as the daughter of the boogeyman twyla has the power to manipulate shadows and enter dreams of her fellow monsters a loyal and observant monster she's one of the kindest ghouls at monster high she loves spending time in the library reading about monster history Okay, so I'm using screenshots here, obviously, because if I use actual footage of the video, I'm pretty sure Mattel will not be happy about that from my experience with past music videos. So the music video starts off with uh, Twyla, Twyla's mouth, which is animated, like actually drawn on, and she shushes or something with her hand, which also is like a different hand mold, interestingly enough. So you'll notice that a lot of, um, there's a new way of animation to this music video. Again, it's, it's made with actual actual dolls now so it's got a mix of stop motion but then it also has a mix of actual like little bits of animation with editing and also uh to cover to make it look like the ghouls uh like the dolls are actually blinking they sometimes uh make them blink by covering their um you know eyes with i'm not sure if that's like um like if that's actual like material that they're putting over the doll's eyes in the studio or if it's like you know post post production in the video editing they're just putting it over the eyes to cover them to make it look like they're blinking um same goes with the mouth i mean the mouth literally it's only for one shot at the beginning but uh it literally moves and if even when it's like really small there's no mouth behind it so it's not like they just uh, drew a mouth on top of Trila's already molded mouth on top you know on the face like literally it's gone so <laughs> that's a very interesting choice and overall i think it makes the dolls feel more alive obviously and uh it's a really really nice mixture of st anim animation styles and it's just it's very nice and modern and i think most of us really like the stop motion uh, tiktoks that monster has been putting out um they're really heartwarming re really really sweet so i'm really happy that you know for i guess now going on uh these music videos will also have the this kind of like stop motion animation style and it's very smooth like very smooth uh, i have no like issues with it whatsoever i think it's so cute and uh basically the story here is that um the girls the the ghouls the well you know frankie claudia and dracula they enter twyla's room because we can see there's like a little name tag like a little name uh, uh plaque on the front of the door and they enter it for some reason and then in the inside i guess it's her bedroom we can see a little bit of the interior it, it looks like um you know twyla has a lot of books and twyla like in the description can manipulate the shadows so she can also make books kind of levitate because she, you know her sh the shadows are holding the books up i guess like i don't know if that actually like makes um logic like sense like if that could actually you know happen <laughs> i guess it doesn't matter <laughs> Uh, but it's it's really fun it's like it's our powers and they're like very visual um and so i guess uh twyla you know was just doing it minding her own business and uh then the ghouls come in and she scares them and the ghouls like scream at her and then she's like oh no she's she kind of like she, she kind of got scared and then dracula like lends her a hand and then they're all besties so that's kind of like the basic plot here and then they start dancing so there's really not much to it but i think it's really cute because especially for twilight it makes sense of course twilight would be included in the creepover party series because of course if this is like the storyline then it makes total sense they're all having a slumber party in her bedroom which by the way leads me to the uh alleged place set some people were um kind of like very sure that the bed that we saw in the background and some little furnitures here and there uh, of these scenes where 
we are in the where we are in Twyla's bedroom might be part of a new playset. But then someone pointed out that the actual bed uh, mold, like the actual bed piece, might just be a recolored version of Claudine's bed since they do have very similar, uh, you know, metal metal. Not, they're not actually metal, but the actual like framing that goes on like overhead is very similar. Um, so it might be just a repainted uh, bed of Claudine's. It might not be a new piece. Um, but it might be a new piece. It might be part or maybe just hinting. It, it might just be a tease to a future Twyla bedroom, which I think would make sense again, because Creepover Party series, it would just make sense that she would also get a bedroom. Um, and maybe, I mean, I'm sure that down the line, we will get bedrooms for every character, like no, no like no problem. Oh, I think that will happen for sure. Mattel knows how to make money here. <laughs> but like for Twyla specifically, I think it would be a great move. Um, and also we can see little the little bunny pet. I keep forgetting his name. Dustin, is it Dustin? Uh, it looks really cute in the background there. I also hope we get a like a little um, desk for her bedroom, like we saw in this, uh, you know, in this video. It was really, really sweet. And also the chair. The chair is a new. I think that chair also came with the coffin bean or with. I, I think the coffee bean place said or Claudine's bedroom or it might be a new piece that comes of like Claudine's fashion studio That's like an Amazon exclusive. So I don't think it's a new mold, but either way, it's a really nice piece and it definitely um, Set the tone right for her bedroom And I think again the music video just had a really nice tone overall It was very like it, it reminded me a lot of Tim Burton and uh, in just the way of animation style stop motion and stop motion is kind of like a dying way of uh, you know creative art form i guess and it's really sad because it is a beautiful artwork uh, art art form of creating uh storytelling and stuff so i really hope that from now on monster high will just keep producing these kinds of music videos with stop motion which speaking of music videos um we already got five for the main ghouls and we never got one for deuce or gulia or torlai which a lot of people thought was unjust a lot of people are still waiting for deuce's music video which is so sweet because he is like the main monster right the main male monster uh so maybe they will make one for him with this new style of stop motion i really hope so deuce deserves some um, love and respect <laughs> I, really, I mean people are even still upset that he never got a haunt couture doll you know what i mean so like come on deuce fans are no joke we love deuce and we need again justice for deuce okay <laughs> um so i definitely feel like he needs a music video and he might get one if this one for Twilight does well. Uh, by the way, by now, uh, a cu couple hours later after it got posted, it has like 6,000 views. So really it, doing pretty well. Um, and uh, so I, I, I think the music videos uh, overall always do really well. Speaking of, the length of the music video is very short. It's like a little over half a minute. Uh, so it's not long and the previous music videos that were in the different, uh, you know, animate and like they were animated, they were longer. They were like a minute longer. So that's interesting. Um, maybe because it's stop motion, they took, it took longer to actually make the video. That makes sense. So maybe that will be a con to making stop motion videos where it'll be shorter, but it'll just feel like, uh, a more creative process, you know, overall. And also I rewatched the older music videos and I gotta say they don't really hold a candle to this new kind of stop motion type i definitely prefer this but i still feel like the uh music videos have a really good uh tone and a tune and like a nice rhythm and the ly lyrics uh cleo's is definitely the best and jerkylor's as well they just i just kind of i always remember those specifically uh claudine's kind of like didn't do that well just because hers was the first uh frankie Styles was cute and laguna's was very um also very interesting but definitely my faves are jerkylor's and cleo's music videos and now twyla's again too short people thought it was too short so i definitely feel like even if it takes longer they should definitely take their time and um for the next music video just so it's like a longer uh, runtime of two plus minutes because it is definitely too short and if it's only like a minute like in 30 seconds it's not really a music video it's more like just a little promotional clip of the dolls which is also okay again i love it the hair looks flawless by the way the set designs um for what seems to be like the library yeah that makes sense because i mean duh, duh, the twilight loves the library so of course, the set design when they're dancing is in the library, which I love. I hope they, um, I hope Mattel releases, uh, you know, 
strategically they release like uh, playsets that can then be built up to a monster high school. I feel like that would be genius. Something similar to what Lego is doing with Hogwarts, Harry Potter. They've released many school parts that you can then attach together. Something like that. Obviously, it's Lego, so it's different. But I feel like if they really want to make money, which I think they do, <laughs> this is a very good way of um, capitalizing on, you know, the Monster High School because Mattel has never done something like that. They've so I feel like this would be a really good way to go, uh, a really good direction to go in for releasing uh, specific sections of the Monster High School uh, in reasonable with reasonable prices and then you can just mount them all on top of each other to create one cohesive school anyways um <laughs> the music videos why did the why, why did they make the switch from animation to stop motion again i'm not complaining i think also most people like we saw with the comments are in favor of the stop motion it just adds more character and more originality because you know uh, I would, I would, oh, you know what? I would also love for Barbie to start doing stop motion. Ooh, that would be so cute. I mean, they're they're doing stop motion TikToks again, um, but like if they started doing Barbie full on music videos like this, and for like future doll lines like Bar you know again Barbie Monster High from Mattel, if they did stop motion music videos like this or just stop motion promotional stuff like this, that would be really cute and would definitely make Mattel stick out more and make Mattel look more original. Um, and I mean, MJ can also do stop motion stuff, but uh, then M Mattel can say, hey, we did it first. <laughs> so anyway, um, so the music videos, why did they change the, you know, the art style that design from animation to stop motion? I don't know. I think maybe Mattel heard that we were not happy with the animation style. It looked kind of cheap or maybe it just wasn't fully rendered or just didn't feel fully finished uh either way here we are it's stop motion now yay <laughs> i think it's, it's i think it's great so there's nothing to complain about and i also am very interested to see how they're gonna introduce twilight because as we read in the description you know she is a daughter of the boogeyman she has the power to p manipulate shadows and enter dreams of fellow monsters but she is a loyal and observant monster and she's also one of the kindest ghouls at monster high and we obviously heard she loves to spend her time in a library reading about history, monster history, uh, but she's also kind of scared. And so in the lyrics of the music video, she kind of says she's always in the shadows, that where, that's where you'll find me. But she's trying to break out of that shell and she's uh, trying to get out there, put herself out there more. So maybe that'll be like a plot point to do with Twyla and maybe that'll be how they introduce her, where it's like Dracula notices that she's kind of like lurking in the shadows and then maybe she... Uh, uh, invites her to a creepover party and maybe that's how they'll tie they will tie into the uh doll line of the creepover party series in any case i can't wait to see her make her appearance in the show uh sooner than later hopefully and we'll see you know how it develops you know maybe what kind of outfit she will be wearing because i mean so far we've only seen this outfit on her and this is kind of like being her unofficial you know core outfit because she hasn't had a core release yet maybe this will be like her first release um that wouldn't be the first that you know monster high has done that with uh, introducing a new character in a unofficial core series so that could be okay but let's see what she wears in the series um and yeah I've, so i've talked to, i've talked about the lore about the stop motion style the animation the music video and the song the song was cute it was it would get it's just too short it was just too short so really not enough of the song was there for me to like really fall in love with it so again make these stop motion music videos longer even if it takes longer it's worth it it'll be worth it to all of us i think we can all agree right uh, especially because stop motion the stop motion was really fluent in this music video and it really flowed really well it just it, you can tell they really took their time so yeah i think that is all i wanted to talk about right the the dolls the dolls are great by the way and i did not know that her eyes could glow in the dark that is so neat that looked really cool and kind of creepy so i love it it just definitely fit the vibes so yeah that was twyla's new music video i think i've covered everything uh i'm sure i'm missing something <laughs> but i want to know what you think of this music video do you like the stop motion do you not like it um 
And do you like, and do you prefer, would you prefer if Mattel kept making music videos in the stop motion style? And if they just made more stop motion videos like this in general, I think I would love that very much. Oh, also, I saw that Monster High has been posting these Monster High mystery episodes where it's like a really cartoony style as well. It really looks nice. It's really cute. It's like a game, I think. Um, and you solve like a whodunit situation, like someone stole something. I only saw the first one briefly and I forgot about it already. <laughs> But I, there's more now, and Heath is in the, uh, in this, and Heath has made an appearance. A lot of people have commented that he should look the way that he does in this cartoony version because I guess people like him more this way, uh, and he does look really good. But so, should I cover these episodes and maybe you know break down the episodes, the story, the lore? Can maybe we can see if there's some more lore to be. Um, you know, digged up. I don't know. Let me know down below. That was the video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out when I post more content like this coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the dolty you love. Stay safe. Be kind. I hope this next time. Stay peachy. Kisses.